back to the Mohawk Valley Sports Watch. Thanks for making us part of your Sunday mornings, every Sunday morning right here from 9 to 11 on WKAL Talk Radio 1450 and 103.3 FM. We're going to go right to the phone lines. we got the vice president of Lee Little League, Billy Menders, on the line. So let's go to Billy now. Hey, Bill, what's going on, partner? Hey, Rock, how are you, buddy? Doing very good. Thanks for uh, taking this time on a beautiful Sunday uh, afternoon. It sure is. So, Bill, we were just talking a little bit here about uh, about Lee and, and Rome baseball, and, and I'll tell you, it's nice to be back playing some baseball, isn't it? It sure is, man. I'm glad this weather's finally breaking. So this year up in Lee, I know you guys have, have really worked hard, you know, the last few years and from last year to this year. Can you talk to us a little bit about some of the enhancements up there field-wise and just what's going on up there in Lee? Absolutely, yeah. We we uh, we got a very generous donation from the Edwin J. Wattis Foundation and subsequently got money from the town of Lee to make some improvements to the ballpark up there and the facilities. And what we've done since then is we resurfaced three of our major league fields, um, and we're going to do three minor league fields this year with the help of Coach Dick Meese and Timmy Lovett. Um, they've been a real help to us, giving us a really good deal, and he does quality work. You know, he does the, uh, the grounds up at Bernane Field. If anyone's been up there, you know, they're yep. impeccable. So it's uh, we got a lot going on there. We got a new scoreboard that was donated by the Edwin J. Wattis Foundation, and we got uh, T-Mobile just contacted us, and we're going to be doing some live streaming of our games so right on Little League One this year, free of charge. Oh, nice! That's awesome. That's great to hear. Yeah, we just got that news yesterday. So, how many? Um, I know you get. We have the. Um the five major teams up there. Talk to us about some of the other teams and how do the numbers look? Man, the numbers are outstanding this year. We went from 200, right around 200 kids last year, and we're up to about 260 this year. Um, that, that goes from T-ball all the way up through our senior league. Um, senior league, for anyone that doesn't know, is for anyone that's aged out of little league, 13 to 16 years old, um, and we play some of the neighboring towns like BVS, Oneida, Canastota, Camden, things like that. But we have, we have, like you said, we just expanded to our five major teams this year. We have five player pitch teams, eight coach pitch teams, and eight t-ball teams. So we wow. have a lot of people up there at LTP playing. Well, Bill, one of the things I thought was awesome was you guys had um, the clinics. Uh, up at Accelerate this off season, I thought that was fantastic, and it was free of charge to to the kids. So, talk to us a little bit about that. I'll tell you what, that was that was uh, very nice for us to be able to do that. And again, you know, thanks to our our donor, the Edwin J. Waters Foundation, and you know, the town of Lee. You know, they put some money in our coffers, and we were able to put it directly back into our program. Uh, we were able to get kids from age. From Seven to twelve up there, eight to twelve. I think there were a couple seven-year-olds mixed in. Um, and we got to have some of our amazing coaches and volunteers that stepped up to help us out. Some of the RFA varsity players, and we did two weeks of just drills and drills and drills, infield, outfield, pitching, hitting, bunting, stealing, running. And uh, you know, up here in upstate New York, it's tough to get any baseball in before mid-April. So that was very valuable for us, and we can. We were planning on continuing some of the clinics throughout the summer. We just got to nail down a, a date and the volunteers, and they're also going to be free of charge. Now, Bill, if, if people want to donate um, to Lee, are they still able to do any donations? Absolutely. We, we, we can take donations at any point. You just have to uh, get in t- contact with us. Our best bet is probably to go to our Town of Lee Little League base, uh, Facebook page. And send us a message there, and somebody will get back to you very shortly. We're pretty much on top of that. Or, you know, through any of our emails, just click the link that's on that page, and it'll take you right to us. And then talk a little bit, if you can, about next weekend. Next weekend will be opening day for the league. Yeah, ne- next weekend, you know, that's our Super Bowl. All the hard work we did in the off season, and uh, we're going to have everybody that's in the league out on the field. We'll announce all their names, and we got a special treat coming in for some of the players. Um, 
and it's, it's going to be it's going to be a really good day. I'm just hoping the weather cooperates because in years past it hasn't always done that. And Bill, last thing for I know last year you guys did the fall baseball, which I thought was awesome, and uh, I know my son got a lot out of that. Are you guys looking to continue with that this this fall? Absolutely, yeah. We, I mean, we're going to try to push baseball as much as we can. And we understand people have other sports they play, but uh, we're always going to make that available. If we get the numbers, we're going to play, no doubt about it. Well, that's awesome. And uh, I'll tell you, last year was my first year up in Lee, and I'm so glad I made the change. It's nice to be around baseball guys, and it's it's just it's a whole different environment. And I'm not knocking anything in Rome, but, uh, Bill, you guys have done a fantastic job up there. I'm happy to be up there with you. I appreciate that, Rock. I'll tell you what, we got guys that just love the game, and we, we love to teach the game to the kids. And, uh, you know, when we get in, in between the lines, obviously everybody's looking to win, but it, it's about the kids, and it really is. We keep the kids first up there. And i got to tip my hat to Rich Johnson and his wife, Allison. They do a lot of the legwork, and Pete LaMonica, um, and the off-season stuff. They, they keep us kind of organized, you know, and help um, dictate what duties everybody has. So, Without them putting all that extra hard work in, a lot of this isn't possible. You know, we can throw anybody out on the field, but to make it a, a quality product like we're doing up there, um, we got to thank those guys. Well, listen, Coach Kramer and I are going to have the most improved team this year. We're going to be tough down the stretch. No doubt about it. you got a couple really, really good uh, local coaches coaching that team. So we're going to be looking out for you, Rock. We'll have a lot of fun. I know that. Well, listen, Absolutely. man, thanks for coming on, and we'll see you this week. Of course, man. You take care. All righty. All right, bye-bye. That was the VP of uh, Lee Little League, Bill Manor. Bill was a great player himself. And um, it's it's really nice. And listen, I'm not knocking, like I was telling him, I'm not knocking Rome. Because I took my son last year, uh, was his first year up in Lee. But, Pete, when you're around baseball guys,